So each of these triangles requires us to use the triangle inequality theorem, which says that any two sides of a triangle have to add up to be bigger than the third side. Okay, simply adding up. And we can't have a triangle that has two legs that don't touch the third leg. That would not make a closed figure. So in 52, 3 plus 3, sure enough, that's bigger than 3. So that one's a triangle. On 53, 4 plus 5, the two smaller sides sure are bigger than 6. That's a triangle. Sorry, that's 9. Over here, 54, 3 plus 2 is not bigger than 7. So you're always trying to add up the two smaller sides and see if they <coughs> add up to be bigger than the third. So 54 is not a triangle. And 55, 1 plus 5 is not bigger than 6. It's also not a triangle. So then a second question, what kind of a triangle is this? Right here. So hopefully you notice that the three sides are the same, so this is an equilateral triangle, because all three sides are the same. But what about 53? In order to do that, we're going to use an application of the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to test to see about 4 squared plus 5 squared, how does that compare to 6 squared? And that will tell us what kind of a triangle it is. So 16 plus 25, how does that compare to 36? 41 and 36. 41 is greater than 36. So we know it's not a right triangle. If they were equal, it's a right triangle. And if the sum is larger, we have an acute triangle. And if the <coughs> c squared is larger, we have an obtuse triangle. 